Hi, I'm Samantha, and for the past three years, we've traveled all over Pakistan. From trekking everywhere we could in our home territory of Gilgit Baltistan, to visiting Azad Kashmir, and backpacking the four provinces of Sindh, Balochistan, KPK, and Punjab, we've seen quite a bit. But we were craving an adventure abroad, and so we set our sights on Tajikistan, a long-term Central Asian country goal. At first, we thought we'd take a flight from Islamabad, but that idea quickly got thrown out once we realized it would cost over two thousand dollars for the two of us needless to say we just about gave up until another option started to become more and more appealing an overland adventure from pakistan's notorious torkan border through afghanistan to shir khan bandar where we'd be able to cross into tajikistan all without flying yes afghanistan you might be thinking isn't it the most dangerous time ever to go the forces entered the heart of the afghan capital kabul today the but actually, it's probably the best. So after getting our visas or getting into a taxi right in early on August 29th and starting the 824 kilometer, 512 mile journey into what many consider to be the most dangerous country in the world. Here's how it went. It's about a two or so hour drive to the border. Let's go. Good. Ready to go. Okay, so we're just stopped here. Y'all can see like there's some mountains in the back. Uh, just putting some water in the vehicle because we're starting to head upward. Shagai Fort, it's Shagai Fort, but it's not open to the public. We're only about three, four kilometers away from the border. Um, I just love this road. It's actually getting cooler because we're going up in elevation and then the real journey is going to begin. We have arrived here at the border. There's like shops and other things going on. And now we're going to head that way to the whole immigration scene to see how long this takes. This is the scene. Here's pretty. This guy is carrying our luggage. And yeah, I'm not quite sure how much longer we could film. We just went through immigration. It was honestly a smooth process. There's not a lot of people here right now, which is a huge blessing. Everything was smooth and fast. And now we're walking through this tunnel to get to the Afghan side. And this is the tunnels. As you can see, people are walking. Not a lot of people today. Like we really picked a good day to come, I guess, in this regard. We have exited and we are now on the Afghan side. The experience was honestly quite good compared to what we had expected and I'll get into that more in a bit. But um, overall the crossing was pretty smooth. It took maybe like two hours, an hour and a half and there was no problems for us. So Here we are, first glimpses of the country. It's very similar to the other side so far. We've got some naan and then we've got some bananas. Yay! So we're at our first eating experience here in Afghanistan. They really have some Afghan naan, some type of tea, and then some food is going to be coming to you, everybody. Yeah, And then you are coming with us. Hello. So, yeah, after a long, we woke up at like 6, so it's definitely time to get started with the eating. Hello. And then the couple of allowed also here. This is from the polar opening at the um, checkpoint. But uh, yeah, Kirin, how are you feeling about the food? Yeah, we, we've got a lot of food. We've got uh, rice, we've got bread, we've got some beans. Yeah. So we just finished eating and now we're ready to head back into the car and go to Kabul. 
about a few hours left to reach there as we continue this journey. So like I've never seen this before. I guess it's a date, right? Yeah. It's a date? Okay. Let's try it out. Okay. Do you just eat it straight or like, okay. Yeah. So we're currently now like heading towards Kabul. A few more hours ago, as I said, I've never in my life seen a yellow date. Mm. It's very interesting. They order eat a lot of food. Mm. <laughs> very unique. So we've made our nice stop here at this stunning, stunning bridge. I guess that's the Lagman area over there. People are swimming. It was absolutely beautiful. Wish I could swim as well. But yeah, still on the way to Kabul. We're almost in Kabul and this is the amazing and incredible scenery. As you can see, there's like a village way over there. And yeah, oh, it's been an absolutely stunning, stunning drive. Like really just beautiful views beautiful scenery. I cannot believe that I'm really here and we still have a very long way to go in our road trip, but we're making some progress. Having this peach juice now. Hey. So yeah, peach juice. There's a lot of energy drinks in Afghanistan. I wasn't expecting that. That's quite interesting. And I think we're only a few-ish kilometers from Kabul. It's quite hot still, but we have gone up. Mm. <clears throat> All right, another awesome stop, y'all. Here is a sick road. This is the way to Kabul. And as y'all could see, it looks absolutely crazy. We've come all the way up here, and there's lots of trucks over there. So, y'all, after about five hours, since we saw for lunch, we are finally in like the outskirts entering Kabul. First looks at Kabul. Try. First looks at Kabul coming at you. And I'm just looking at it. And here we are. Now we're just heading straight to the bus station. So we're just sat here. This is our store. We just got some snacks. Hey, Fadid. More seating area. Waiting for our bus. Just waiting for our bus here. It's quite a nice setup. There's ice cream, there's smoothies and other things. So, thank you. This is a massive, massive bus stand as well. Our bus station, rather. So, we're going to be getting on our bus in about 30 minutes. And it's going to be a long ride to the border, folks. And now, like, look at the shape. Got this. So, pretty impressed with the offerings here. Let's see how it is. Wow. This is the land of fruit, folks. It was high key, like a lot of room, and I was not expecting that at all. So after a super long bus journey, it took just about 12 hours and the road was super bad. We arrived here in Kunduz. We're not going to be spending that much long here. We kind of just popped into this hotel to rest for a few hours. It was super early. And now we're going to be heading towards the Shere Khan Banda border, which is about like an hour and a half or so from where we are. We're all packed over here. Pretty decent hotel room here. And then we're going to be heading outside and getting ready to go. It was 1,000 of Afghani, which is about $12. And now we're heading to the Shere Khan on our border. Go! 
that moment when you see a bunch of oons Wait, just casually on, on the way. Yeah. It feels Hello. like we're uh. in Balochistan. Uh. Oh my gosh, yes, now uh. they're moving. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, oh, it's funny. There's been a long, long time since we have seen them. Just about approaching the border. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, we just went through immigration and now we're heading over the Friendship Bridge here to the Tajik immigration area. And just like that, we enter Tajikistan, a country that's 93% mountains and where one of the greatest adventures of my life fly ahead. But as we coasted along on a three hour shared taxi ride to Dushan Bay, the capital, all I could think about was returning to Afghanistan for real, not just for transit. And as you'll see in the next vlog, exactly 30 days later, that's just what we did.